sweeties how are you doing today uh, today it's really shiny and sunny and nice here so I'm in a good mood and I've been talking to you on Instagram and uh, just dot Jill and about scented candles a lot and I have seven in my collection uh, I love trying them out I love reviewing them and I think one two three four maybe five of these have full reviews on Instagram you can find them under the painted pictures of the candles but I know I haven't talked about them all so I thought I would do a run through this this is not going to be an in-depth review of each and every single one but kind of just my thoughts so I thought should I like start at the bottom and work my way up to my favorite candle I don't know. <laughs> I should have probably thought that out before I started filming. I just wish you could like respond to me uh, right away. But okay, I'm going to start at the kind of bottom. And this is going to be for different reasons. Uh, but still, these are all the ones that I like. I've had a lot of other candles and I tend to like just, if I don't like them that much, put them in the bathroom, burn through them. Uh, or give them away or something but these are the candles that I really really like so even the bottom is going to be the top uh, so this is the first one Alex Simon uh, Cure de Vintage Vintage Leather and this one I like because I burnt most of this it burns very evenly I think it's soy doesn't say on here this label was very informative. <laughs> you can't see anything. Uh, I think it's soy. I love that it has a lid, but I wish that it had this, what is it called? You know, that makes it not flop around. But I do love that it has a lid. Uh, and I love the design of it. It's very sleek. I love the scent. Oh, I'm going to not put soot all over my face. I love the scent because it's very unique. I love everything leather. But this is not very leathery. Uh, it's kind of like a combination with leather and fruit, which is weird, but really, really nice. And uh, I think the kind of candle is very nice. It's a nice size. If I remember correctly, these are not very high price. The next candle is a candle from Rhodes. And this is pink paper. This I don't burn very often because it's very, very strong, but it's strong in a good way. It's a sweet, almost like a grapefruit scent. I love that it's white. I think it's very, very pretty. I love this lid. Uh, this is not a very expensive brand, but they have made a lid that is just plastic. So this doesn't cost them a lot, but it still is very, very pretty on there and it protects the candle. <coughs> a candle sometimes I get like a weird English accent so I really really like this one I definitely think you should burn it in a bigger room because it's uh, very sharp so I burn this uh, in a large room we have where the entire floor gets scented I would never burn this like in our small uh, toilet or bathroom in the toilet so that one is really nice then I have, oh, I forgot the, the lid to this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I have pictures on, uh, on Instagram of it, but this has such a cute little uh, lid in porcelain. Uh, this is quite a small candle, and I don't think they were very cheap, but they are very, very good soy candles with natural scents. So this has kind of more like an herbally fresh scent, but it really like reminds me of a spa. It's just that kind of very fresh scent. It has a medium throw, so this is great for a uh, kind of smaller room. It hasn't burned perfectly. I don't know if that's my fault, if I have been burning it too short of a time, but I really don't think so. I've been burning it quite a long time each time, but it kind of sticks up here. So that's not my favorite, but, and it's the brand Aero. A Aero? <laughs> Not arrow like the one you shoot, a arrow like air. Anyways, so that one I really like. Uh, then I have a candle. This candle I really like. Uh, the reason it's not 
all the way to the top is that my, this uh, this exact scent was not my favorite but that's not the candle's fault this is a huge candle from Penhaligons it's uh, too bad that it looks like this because it's almost uh, impossible to take photos of which means I'm not going to use it uh, in my photos that much but it's very very nice it's very huge it has three wicks and the black wax is something that I always love and this is actually not black it's dark green I wish you could see that so when it burns it is see-through so you can see uh, the flames through it and uh, the flames kind of are green so that's very pretty this one obviously because it's so huge and it's three wicks <coughs> this is gonna scent your entire home uh, it burns very nicely very evenly doesn't smoke anything like that but this scent to me was almost a little bit masculine it um, has that kind of old timey cologne scent and especially because it is a large candle and so strong I don't burn it a lot uh, if it was a smaller candle maybe it work, would work out better for me uh, the container this comes in is amazing it's like this wooden old timey box so this would be perfect for a gift these are quite expensive but they burn a long time they are very pretty I think that would be a good gift <sighs> I need some water now we are at my three all-time favorite candles and candle brands um, I don't know which one to start with maybe this candle is my all-time favorite and I hate it so uh, it's you know I love the brand by Rido uh, they have so many nice nice scents this is the ap apocalyptic and they have so many scents that I would like to buy I love the packaging this is my all-time favorite packaging of a candle it's black the the wax is black I love it and the, the smell it's just such a such a good smell it's not artificial it's not too sharp it's not you know and it has a very nice throw the only thing I hate with this candle is it burns horribly like if you can maybe it's hard to see because this is black but every single time I burn this I have to like poke down the wax on the sides I have to burn it for like three four hours so that it kind of evens out the wick is kind of not centered in the middle whatever I do so it's it's a pain to burn this but it's my best scented smelling candle and it burns quite slowly because as I said I've, I've had to burn it for a very long period of time each time but I still have a lot left so this one is something I'm going to buy more of even if it's not a very good candle in itself um, the other ones I haven't had any problems with artificial scents or smoking or anything like that because those types of candles it doesn't matter to me how pretty they are it doesn't matter to me how good they smell if they smoke and they uh, have a plasticky scent or something they're out the door that doesn't work for me now to my two favorite uh, candles this is I haven't had this for that long so I shouldn't say it's my favorite but this is the diptyque oud the reason I haven't bought a diptyque candle before is because they <clears throat> their scents they're not always so appealing to me um, I don't know why they're not bad scents but they are not my taste but when they came out with this oud candle oh, I just fell in love with it because it is everything I love it's woody it's deep it's smoky it's just everything that I love and I love the packaging of these I do think somehow they could make them more expensive looking because I just feel like this is the the design is very pretty but it's very basic and the box is very very basic so it doesn't look as expensive as it is to me so I wish maybe they could do something else just with the shape of the glass or something but this burns very evenly the scent is quite strong without being too harsh very nice and I think my all-time favorite candle brand is something that a lot of you never heard of 
and it's these candles from uh, Joya. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I am. And this candle brand is just, all their packaging is amazing. And I love these types of kind of frosted uh, containers and black wax, of course, I love it. Uh, I, the only thing I would say is watch out for their smaller candles. They have uh, a quite a lot smaller candle and you would think that it's just the same wax but but in a smaller container but it's not. These bigger ones their wax is so it's so fragrant in a very nice way and it burns evenly and it, it's just and it's soy wax and just I love these but the smaller ones kind of don't have that much of a scent and some of them kind of smell like you know that burning plasticky scent so I do not like those but these big ones are amazing they are so beautiful there's lots of different designs on them and yeah they're just very very pretty so those are all my candles I don't know what to say more about them personally for me I love when candles have lids. Only two of these ones have lids. Um, I also like when when it's a nice. No, three of these ones have lids. I'm sorry. Uh, I also like a nice design. Personally, I like these sleeker designs more, or these kind of more um, handmade artistic designs. So that is what I have in my collection right now, and I'm gonna do an updated one when enough of this has changed if you have a collection please you can uh, uh, it's not called uh, tag me here maybe maybe uh, if you make a video you can some somehow link me and uh, or if you put up a photo on Instagram you can just uh, at me so I can see it because I love candles so much and if you have any suggestions like try this brand or try this scent or or like how am I supposed to burn this better? I know you can put like aluminum foil and everything but that kind of destroys the beautifulness of it. So I don't really know what to do with this. And maybe I got a bad one. Maybe you have a Byredo candle and it burns perfectly. So then please let me know because I really want to have more of these. So the... The ones that I would love to try are the Jo Malone candles. So I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of those, but Jo Malone is really hard to get a hold of in Sweden. So anyways, talking too much too long. I'm so happy to be back here doing videos for you. It's not gonna be as regular as it was before, but there's gonna be a video once in a while and I hope you like them and I hope that I can keep doing them. So. I hope I see you on Instagram and I hope I see you here for my next video and I hope you have a good day guys. Bye!